Annie Turnbull. Thank you, I can see you're present in the gallery. Um, so Annie, there's quite a big um, introductory statement. Um, it all, all of these sets of questions have been provided to um, councillors and we've received this email um, from another source as well. I'll just read your beginning paragraph. With the reality of climate change bearing down upon us, I feel heavily the weight of responsibility to leave our planet habitable and thriving for the generations to come. To this end, I congratulated the I congratulate the far-sightedness of previous Indigo Shire Council entities like the Indigo Environment Advisory Committee and the 2013 document, A Good Life, A Guide to Living Lightly, which touched on the topic of my question today. I congratulate Indigo Shire for being one of the first cities in Australia to recognise the urgency of the situation we are in by declaring a climate emergency in 2019, but we need to go further and faster. The latest assessment by the Internet Governmental Panel on Climate Change stresses the necessity of reducing methane to prevent a 1.5 degree Celsius temperature rise. It said even if we cease fossil fuel use today, staying below 1.5 degrees global warming is unattainable due to methane's impact. So, um, as I said, the email goes on and councillors have read that and we understand that the, the basis for your questions is about the plant treaty, <coughs> the plant-based treaty. And so, um, CEO, I will direct these questions uh, to you, perhaps just in, in its entirety um, for your consideration. Will Indigo Shire Council enhance its climate action plan by aligning itself with 27 global cities, including Belfast, Amsterdam, Edinburgh and Los Angeles, and endorsing the plant-based treaty? Moreover, will it follow the lead of 28 Australian city councillors who have already endorsed the treaty? Will Indigo Shire Council consider and endorse the plant-based treaty? And in order to make an informed decision, will Council allocate a time in the near future to view a presentation about the plant-based treaty? CEO. Uh, Mayor Price, through you, and certainly in regards to the preamble, I certainly would concur with those sentiments. Uh, I guess the, the challenge for council is there's, there's so many different ways that we can respond um, to environmental issues across the planet and, and locally. Um, but from our point of view, the, we need to be quite strategic and focus on, on the things that we can uh, work on. And so to that extent, we have an environment committee uh, that helps us to um, provide advice to council on what directions it should, should or could take, uh, but also trying to help us prioritise which which um, causes or which um, activity we do follow. So I would suggest that we refer this um, through staff, through our sound media, um, to the Environment Committee for them to consider that and come back to Council with a recommendation on the way forward on that. Thank you. 